What's up everyone, this is FP Sticks bringing you some more Go Battle League battles here in the Ultra Remix Cup and I have a very special video today featuring some really spicy battles from a member of the community, Sarensave, uh, who has been posting some videos uh, on his TikTok account uh, at Sarensave underscore PVP, so feel free to check him out over here, but this team is pretty wild. Uh, we have Scrafty in the lead running Acid Spray, Chandelure, and Tentacruel in the back. I personally have never seen Tentacruel uh, perform in Ultra League, so I'm curious to see how these battles uh, will go. But let's jump right into these battles here. Definitely a cool team comp, and we'll see how it performs here. Okay, Lugia in the lead, and the opponent actually immediately switches out, which is pretty interesting because the counters from uh, Scrafty would have been double resisted, but they were just very uh, fearful of that foul play. Drops the Acid Spray on the Blastoise and then is going to come in with the Tentacruel. Now, the, oh man, they're actually running Skull Bash on their Blastoise as well. Sometimes uh, Blastoise will run Ice Beam for some grass coverage, but this is a double Acid Spray team and the opponent is just getting Acid Sprayed all over the place. Gonna no shield this Hydro Cannon, nice recognition there. Able to survive it, probably, yeah, the Lugia comes back in. Going to drop another Acid Spray debuffs all over the place and it looks like this tentacruel is best buddied as well gonna bring out the scrafty again we'll have to see what's in the back potentially could have brought out chandelure here um, but chandelure as we know is extremely glassy oh my gosh they have a uh, typhlosion in the back but this is an incinerate typhlosion not shadow claw if this was a shadow claw typhlosion this would be very scary actually gets an incinerate through there on that charge move. That's really good. Going to go for another flame charge bait here. But Chandelure is so glassy that even if that flame charge went unshielded, it might have taken out that Typhlosion. Sneaks another incinerate through. That is really devastating for the opponent. And just gonna go for another flame charge. Double boosted at this point. Get, gonna know that it's gonna take it out. That Lugia is coming back in and able to get to... Oh my gosh, the Lugia throws right before. Okay, needs to get to a foul play on this Scrafty. Has lots of energy score uh, stored. Even throws one counter for optimal fast move timing there. And takes out the Lugia. Nice, good game. Acid Spray Scrafty. It's definitely an interesting choice there. I... I prefer power up punch when I run uh, Scrafty just to ramp up my own attack instead of dropping my opponent's defense. But they do serve uh, fairly similar purposes there. Calls the Weather Ball on the Roserade there. It looks like this Roserade is just going straight Weather Ball. Oh my gosh, okay. They landed a Leaf Storm. Gonna bring in the Tentacruel to farm down. Potentially could have swapped the Chandelure or the Tentacruel at some point there against the Roserade um, Since you have two better responses to it in the back compared to the Scrafty. Oh my gosh This is looking rough. This is gonna have to be a double shielded Chandelure sweep here. This Excadrill is going off. Oh Man, out comes Snorlax. Okay, you need to throw these flame charges pretty much as soon as you get them to boost up that incinerate damage and the opponent ended up shielding the first. Oh my gosh, dude, this Chandelure is getting so many free incinerates through and great recognition that the body slam was resisted damage, so no shields and simultaneously faints. Baits the Excadrill with acid spray and really needs to get to this hydro pump here. Oh my goodness. That was a crazy close game. That was a crazy close game. That um, that Rosa raid in the opening was really, really scary. Okay, Drapion. This is honestly a fairly neutral matchup if the Drapion is running uh, Sludge Bomb. Oh my goodness. Okay, gonna drop an Acid Spray on this, on this uh, Sylveon here. Hmm, might be calling a Double Charm team. Because definitely could have brought out Tentacruel as well, but this way you get a ramp up with Chandelure a little bit. You do have the shield once, unfortunately, and honestly, if this Sylveon double shields, no, they're not going to be able to take it out. Okay, Chandelure is able to take that matchup. Getting hit by resisted charms, but still taking that amount of damage is really unfortunate. 
but a boosted Chandelure is going to output a lot of damage, and it's going to get to another Flame Charge against this Drapion. Burns the final shield, and then the opponent actually simultaneous uh, swaps. G gonna let this go, it's just a Poison Fang, but gonna get farmed down by the Air Slashes here from this Crobat. Oh man, yeah, Crobat's gonna get a nice farm here. So Tentacruel is gonna have to clean up. Still has the Chandelure as a potential sack swap, but the Switch Clock is not up yet. Do you call the bait here? Gonna no shield it, and it is the Poison Fang bait, nice call. Has to shield this, but it's most likely another Poison Fang, yep. And then expecting the combo play from the Drapion, and so swaps the, the Chandelure to catch that move. Really nice play. Tentacruel is really bulky. And oh my gosh, the no bubble acid spray for the farm down. So you have energy for the Crobat in the back. That was such a nice play. That was such a nice play. The no bubble acid spray farm down to get to a hydro pump at the end. Wow. Really nice. Ooh, Galvantula is kind of sketchy. Yeah, this is tough. The lunges are going to be hitting for neutral. Gonna go for the acid spray here. I wonder if the gal shields this. Actually gets a shield from the acid spray. That's pretty huge. And then CMP tie. Oh, do you survive this lunge with like a sliver of health? Dang, that was close. Okay, gonna bring out the chandelure and get a huge farm. Two incinerates just totally takes that thing out. And then instant swaps into tentacruel thinking that Galvantula was the only counter for the Tentacruel. Calls the Poison Fang, going straight for the pump. Going straight for the Hydro Pump. Oh my goodness, that does so much damage to that S-Cav. And these Poison Jabs, uh, despite being double resisted, we're outputting some damage. Oh, this Chandelure is just gonna go off. Double shielded Chandelure is gonna go to town here. Smart no shield by the opponent, recognizing that the first uh, flame charge will be the one that does the least amount of damage. But this game is so over. Chandelure does resist the poison damage and the opponent recognizes that good game. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this is a tough lead, okay. Do you, what do you swap here? Gonna safe swap the Chandelure and out comes the Lugia, okay. I think the opponent is slightly confused there. Maybe they thought this was a Typhlosion or something. Oh my gosh, okay. Shadow Ball just lands on the Lugia. Gonna shield this and farm down and win switch. That's huge. Oh, they must have misclicked or something. They had a Shadow Claw Typhlosion in the back the whole time. So this Typhlosion gets a big farm. Bring out the Scrafty pretty much as a sacrifice, but Tentacruel is going to clean house here. There's the Surfetched swap. Gonna drop an Acid Spray before getting out of here. And those Poison Jabs are really chunking now. Night Slash, Leaf Blade. It's gonna hit for neutral. Man, Tentacruel really has a good amount of bulk in the Ultra League here. Gonna no shield this Leaf Blade as well. And then get to this Acid Spray. The Typhlosion is gonna get some farm. Typhlosion's gonna get a little bit of farm, but the, okay, they do end up throwing. Yeah, save the shield for the Scrafty and counter down, I think is the play here. Gonna throw the Acid Spray because they have to shield. And then one counter takes it out. Okay, it's still gonna take two. Nice, good game. Able to flip swap there with the Chandelure. Ooh, Polyrath, okay. Oh, this is actually a really tough scenario. Gonna drop the Acid Spray. If it's running Scald, that is very scary. If it's running Dynamic Punch, that's very scary for, oh boy, okay. Scrafty does survive it though. Do you just sack the Scrafty? Yeah. Okay, they reveal their moveset there. 
and able to get to an acid spray. Nice. Ice punch, dynamic punch. So Tentacruel is going to wall this and actually gets a shield off the acid spray. Oh, man. Then they swap Gar... Oh, is this triple water? Polyrath and Gyarados already. So many acid sprays. Gonna let this go. No defense drop. And gets to another acid spray. This is actually gonna chunk the Gyarados a decent amount. Able to poison jab down. Does the poly SK Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this thing is melting. Out comes the Polyrath, but yeah, you just go straight Flame Charge here and the whole team is going to get melted. Oh man, that is devastating. Good game. These games are wild. Okay. The opponent brings in an Excadrill. I'm pretty sure Chandelure can just double shield their way through this. If this was a G-Fisk... Uh, it might be a different scenario because it's a lot bulkier, but these incinerates are melting this Excadrill. Yeah, double shield farm down. Oh my gosh. This Chandelure is going to go to town here. There was a G-Fisk in the back the whole time. Oh my gosh, that does so much damage. Oh my gosh. Dude, this... <laughs> what? Pidgeot and then double, uh, double steel, double ground steel. Interesting. Just totally sacrificing the Scrafty here. And just going to poison jab down this Pidgeot because Tentacruel would live a brave bird. Holy cow. Chandelure put on an absolute clinic there. Took out two Pokemon and one swap. Okay, another uh, kind of tough lead. Kind of an awkward lead uh, to deal with. It's pretty ridiculous that Scrafty can actually put up a fight in this matchup. Despite hitting for resisted damage with the fast moves. But look how much damage that foul play does. Like this is a very close matchup in the zero shield. Oh wow. This is a risky bait. Wow, gets the shield. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ooh, it could be um if it's Nido Queen double dark and they have a Scrafty in the back. There's still play for the Chandelure. This Tentacruel going to go straight Acid Spray here. It's sometimes fun to run Tentacruel with uh, Sludge Wave. Sometimes in the Great League, I run uh, Sludge Wave Tentacruel. And when you switch lock in Azumarill, it feels so satisfying. Oh, wow. It is a... It is, in fact, a Scrafty in the back. And successfully lands the Hydro Pump. Man, these are some really nice plays. Gets that Flame Charge shielded. And sneaks some energy through with that Incinerate. Gonna farm this all the way down without getting hit by another move. You just throw... Yeah, throw Flame Charge immediately. You don't want to get debuffed here from the Nido Queen. Oh my goodness. Chandelure. I don't even know what to consider is the... Uh, the like MVP on this team here. Because all three of these Pokemon are, are doing so much work. Okay, this is a terrible lead. Gonna swap the Chandelure. That is a very solid response. The Chandelure barely survive this? Oh my gosh. I bet pre Weatherwell nerf, Chandelure would just get rocked right there. Okay, the Shadow Ball connects. Oh man, this is not great. So you have to bring in Scrafty, farm all the way down. And then hope that the Tentacruel with two shields can sweep what's ever in the back. But this, if it's like a Jellicent in the back, that's really, really tough. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. It's a Charizard. And Snapchat is blowing up right now. 
You got a tentacruel with two, sh oh my gosh. You're just gonna fast move down this entire thing. Shields of Blast Burn, huge shield. Gonna go for another acid spray here. The Charizard pretty much has to shield this acid spray. Doesn't get to another move. They didn't get to another blast. Oh, this is over. This is over. Oh my gosh. The double acid spray combo. Oh man. That was very nice. Has to shield up the Psy Shock that would do a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. The double acid spray combo play. Beautiful. Okay, Kingdra, kind of a neutral lead here. Uh, it's really good that the Chandelure gets to avoid this. Gonna go straight for the foul play. And the Kingdra, no shields. That's very good for the Scrafty. If it's an out, okay, gonna no shield. And call the Octazooka, holy cow, but gets debuffed. That's unfortunate. Going for the Acid Spray here. I wonder if you still get a shield. Okay, no shield. But Scrafty able to take that in the zeros. Oh man, that's a big farm with Berserker. Gonna go for another Acid Spray. Oh my goodness, okay. And Chandelure is gonna melt this thing. You're probably gonna, you might have to double shield here though. Oh, they went close combat, what in the world? And it's a Dragon Breath Charizard? This Tentacruel is putting in some work. Go straight acid spray and yeah, these poison jabs really chunk. Oh my goodness. Gonna throw this acid spray right before the Charizard gets another move. Gonna undercharge. They shield it regardless. That was like a weird desync CMP because Charizard definitely wins that. But now the Berserker gets more farm. Trying to swap out of there as fast as possible. Can the Berserker get to two foul plays? Maybe they don't have foul play. Maybe they're running Iron Head. They must be running Iron Head close combat. Oh my gosh. Okay, tough lead here. It's actually a really awkward lead. Okay, gonna go for an Acid Spray. And actually gets a shield from that. Oh my gosh. Gonna swap into the Chandelure right now. And it will get to this flame charge before the Crobat makes a decision. Two shields down. Gets baited with Poison Fang. Oh my goodness. Out comes a Gengar. This flame charge is going to one shot this Gengar. Oh man. Chandelure is so devastating with energy advantage when shields are down. Going to bring out the Scrafty trying to... Uh, Probably swap, yeah, right there, that makes sense. Farm this all the way down. And then hydro pump what's ever in the back. What is in the back? Okay, has to throw this acid spray, but still gonna be able to get a little far. Oh, it's a Nido Queen. Okay, needs to get to this hydro pump. Probably gets baited here. Yeah. Able to get to this hydro pump though. This for sure one shots the Nido Queen. Oh my gosh, and they're going to be able to poison jab down this Crobat. Swaps in the Scrafty, yeah. Great game. Really nice battles with a, a really spicy and interesting team. Thank you so much, Saren Save, for sharing these battles. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you all enjoyed this content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.